Some people have been saying that what I do here is low brow, but please, equals three is an art. I'm an artist. Aww. All right, guys, if you haven't seen this first video, I don't know what you've been doing with your life. It was posted on March 13th to Facebook and got over 27 million views in just three days. It shows a very unfair cat fight, it, like a literal cat fight, not the fun kind. Wow, that cat in the cupboard timed that so perfectly. He holds his paw out waiting for just the right moment. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee! Okay, wait a minute. How long was the cat in the cupboard just waiting for the right moment to strike? And what's his beef with this cat anyway? When we play hide and seek, you have to seek! Okay, last question. What was the other cat staring at this whole time? Was he distracted by something? This <laughs> stupid cat. All right, this next video is just the perfect amount of stupid. In fact, it's like the stupid that the internet was founded on. It was posted on March 12th and looks to be in some kind of banquet hall. It shows two guys deciding once and for all who's the fastest because they definitely tied for dumbest. Ooh, guys. There's a wall there. That's why you leave the racing to junior high kids, cause they're scrawny as hell and won't bust a hole through a wall. See, junior high kids aren't buff and masculine like a grown man. Not me, the, the guys in the video. Okay, but who won this race? The title of the video says that it was a tie, but in slow motion, it looks like a tie. Uh, looks like we're gonna need an expert. If two highly competitive, fully grown men of different body mass run straight to a wall, what is the outcome? Thousands of dollars in damage and a lifetime ban from the Marriott. Lessons learned hard, kids. If you really think about it, the kid in the red won because he made a smaller hole and therefore owes less money. And once again, I have to ask, why? Why were you racing in the first place? Okay, you know what? Here's a better question. Where are their shoes? For that matter, their parents? And just one more thing. How broken are those dudes' arms right now? Oh! According to my calculations, they're broke as fuck. But what? This final video is how I imagine life would be in Kentucky. It was posted on March 3rd and it shows a guy that's combined two of America's favorite things. Guns and bacon. So this guy is going to cook bacon by wrapping it around the barrel of his M16. So much America right now. Ooh, I was like, what's that sound? <laughs> that, good sir is the sound of freedom. Forget the national anthem, we should just play the sound of bacon sizzling on an automatic rifle before sporting events. Okay, I have to admit too, that bacon looks delicious and it better taste delicious because that is some expensive bacon. Nothing wrong with that. And I wonder if it tastes better this way. I bet it tastes like freedom. Hey guys, how do you get really well seasoned bacon? with an assault rifle. Ah! Okay, but what is he shooting at though? I mean, is he shooting at something in the woods? <laughs> that would just be cruel. But then again, bacon. Killing and cooking your food at the same time, this man is an innovator and a patriot. I wonder if he's got any other brilliant cooking methods for us. Today we gonna cook a can of soup. Paul. It's my civic duty. An American. I love how at the beginning of the video he says, So much America right now. Because he is not wrong. There is so much America in this video. He's got a truck, America. Multiple weapons, America. Loves meat, America. It's excessive, America. Where's the American flag, America. Loves Jesus, America. Wow. All right, guys, that's my time. Don't forget to check out the full videos. The links are in the description below. My name is Robbie Montz, and I approve this message. <laughs> I'm a fart artist. Fartisan. I'm a fartisan. <laughs> What's his beef with this cool cat anyway? Mm. Mm.
Looks like we're gonna need an expert. Oh, that actually kind of works. Do I have any kind of fun wig? I kind of like this teacher having a weird drug pass too, like. Yeah. That good sir is the sound of freedom. <laughs> that good sir is the sound of freedom. <laughs> Damn it. I can't hold it. Cause I'm proud to be an American. Well, if I know I'm free, then I won't forget the man who died and gave his life for me. And I will stand up. <laughs> I'm America and so can you! And he loves baby NRA Jesus. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I'm so <laughs> I'm sweaty. Paul! <laughs> 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 <laughs>